Okay guys, welcome to section four of the jewelry design in ZBrush course. Uh, in this section, we're gonna be looking at extraction techniques. So this is basically to use some extraction methods to actually get geometry out of this. So like to give you an example, if I've got this uh, thing here, I can do some simple masking like this and then I can use some extraction methods down here to create geometry, okay? So it's really, really powerful. Let me just do that again and accept it. So you can see I've created this in here, which I can then harden up and then reapply another extraction to, and go and accept that. And then you're getting a kind of double edge. So this is really powerful for, um, doing some amazing stuff inside of ZBrush just from masking. So I'll be looking at extractions with a mind to actually clean up the extracted geometry, so make a better edge flow for it, um, how to work with symmetry and do quick extractions, um, use mask to create polygroups as well, so that's little groups within so you can easily select stuff. Um, and like I said, the the um, setting up the Z remeshing to retopologize is going to be um, a good thing for us. Also, uh, we're going to be creating um, extraction from UVs. Uh, that's going to be pretty cool. Using Photoshop for our UVs as well in section four. And we're going to end um, the extraction with some final thoughts on this as well, because you know I want you to think laterally what you could do with this, what you could achieve. It's a pretty exciting one, actually, section four. Um, although there's not many videos in it, it's um, it, there's core principles that you can apply to literally anything you're working on as far as jewelry is designed. Uh, in fact, any kind of modeling inside of ZBrush. So this is a pretty important one and it's quite a short lecture. It's quite a short section. So it's definitely one to um, keep your eyes on that section. So that's um, section four, that's all about extraction. So you're gonna see my course uh, that I'm starting section one very simply. Well, I'm actually starting with an introduction section. Then we go into section one. Section one starts very simply showing you measurements. Section two goes in and shows you booleans. And uh, and then section three, we start applying and actually creating some jewelry. Section four just expands on the other three sections, actually focusing on extraction methods. So I'm trying to show you each skill from each area and then apply them to jewelry. And as we go later in the course, we'll be mixing these techniques up to create some uh, magnificent pieces for you. So this is section four of the jewelry design in ZBrush course.